Hello and welcome you all. This is Professor Rajesh Parapte, a book author of 25 plus engineering books. Dear students, if you haven't yet subscribed the channel, do subscribe the channel so that you will get new updates immediately. Today's topic is OPAM, that is Operational Amplifier, which is the topic from the subject Basic Electronics Engineering for first year engineering students. Without wasting the time, let us start the topic. In this topic, we will be discussing different concepts related to OPAM, that is Operational Amplifier, and we will solve some examples related to Operational Amplifier. First, definition of OPAM. OPAM is a direct coupled high gain amplifier. Ideal gain of OPAM is infinity, which is used to perform many operations like addition, subtraction, differentiation, integration, and so on. This is the symbol of OPAM. In case of OPAM, there are two input terminals, positive terminal and negative terminal. Positive terminal is also known as non-inverting terminal. Negative terminal is called as inverting terminal. So, V1 is voltage connected to positive terminal. That means V1 is voltage of non-inverting terminal. V2 is connected to negative terminal of op -amp. So, V2 is voltage at an inverting terminal. A represents gain of an op -amp. Ideally, gain of op -amp tends to infinity. That means A tends to infinity. Plus VCC and minus VEE, plus and minus voltages. These are the input supply voltages which is need to drive the operational amplifier. This is an IC. One of the ICs is 741C. Now inside the op amp there are different transistors which are connected with each other in a proper way. We are not going in much details. The output voltage, output of op amp is denoted by V0 and it is given by gain into V1 minus V2. Now from where we got this equation? Basically, equation of gain is output upon input. Look at this diagram. Output is denoted by V0, so I will write the equation as V0 upon input. There are two inputs in case of op amp, V1 and V2. Keep in mind. V1 is connected to positive terminal. So always and always the voltage which is connected to positive terminal minus the voltage is connected to negative terminal will be the input voltage. So input will be V1 minus V2. This is the equation of gain. Therefore I can write V0 is equals to A in the bracket V1 minus V2. Now I will be telling you different configurations of the op amp. From the exam point of view, you don't have to mug up the diagrams. There are uh, different diagrams. You cannot memorize, you cannot mug up all such diagrams. I will provide you the simple trick by which you can memorize all the diagrams as well as we will solve some numericals so that you will get an idea how to uh, do the calculations as far as the numerical part of op amp is concerned. Now, we will consider different configurations of uh, op amp. As I said earlier, you don't have to mug up any diagram. I will tell you simple tricks how to memorize the diagrams. This is the basic symbol of op amp. Here, uh, we need to use two terminals like this. See, minus and plus you can well interchange. There is no rule as such. Plus VCC is positive supply voltage. Minus V is negative supply voltage because it requires dual supply. Both plus and minus supply. V0 is the output voltage. Now, come back to this diagram. First configuration is non-inverting amplifier. How to draw the diagram? As the name indicates, it is a non-inverting amplifier. There are two terminals in case of op-amp, positive terminal and negative terminal. Positive terminal is called non-inverting. Negative terminal is called inverting. What this name indicates? Non-inverting amplifier. Amplifier means in this case it is an op-amp. So first I will draw the symbol. Write A. Inside the symbol A is gain of op-amp. At the output I will write V0. Initially let us say I don't know this expression. Then plus VCC and minus VE I have marked. Now how to draw the remaining diagram? It is very important. Since the name is non-inverting, to the positive connect the power supply V in, notation is V in, and this power supply is connected through some resistance that is R in, input resistance. So it is connected to the positive terminal of op amp because name is non-inverting amplifier. Remaining terminal is negative terminal, so I will connect it to the ground. Now stick to the notations. 
यूज वी वन टू डिनोट द वोल्टेज एट पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल यूज नोटेशन वी टू टू डिनोट वोल्टेज एट निगेटिव टर्मिनल दिस इज नॉट द रूल एज सच बट इफ यू मेक हैबिट्यूड ऑफ दिस नोटेशन दैट मीन्स यू विल राइट वी वन फॉर पॉजिटिव एंड वी टू फॉर निगेटिव लेटर ऑन द थिंग्स बिकम सिंपल सो since it is non inverting amplifier i have connected input to the positive terminal of op amp now equation of op amp just now we discussed output equation that is v0 is a a is gain of op amp into the bracket v1 minus v2 that's why that's what we discussed right now v0 is the output voltage i have to generate equation of output voltage from this diagram now v2 is connected to ground that means v2 is zero so in place of v2 i will be putting zero whereas v1 is connected to v in this voltage drop across r in is very very small it is negligible so ideally you can say v1 is same as v in so in this case equation of output becomes a into v n minus g why v2 zero because it is connected to ground so simply v0 becomes a into v n that's why i have written this expression at the output v0 is equals to a into v n now one more important concept the input is connected to positive terminal that's why we called it as non inverting configuration at the output i am getting positive output it is as such a v in that is that means indirectly plus a v in so we can say like this if input is connected to non inverting terminal of op amp output is positive because input is connected to positive terminal that means output and input are in phase if input is positive output is also positive technically it is said that output is in phase with input now this is first configuration second suppose i want to uh, decide the configuration i have to draw the diagram for inverting amplifier make the thing simple this case was non inverting amplifier make the slight changes since it is inverting amplifier i have just interchanged the positions of plus and minus here i have written minus and here i have written plus compare it with earlier diagram i have just changed the polarities now since it is inverting amplifier i need to connect input to the negative terminal that's why i have written negative terminal over here so how to connect the input again same logic use some input resistance r in and show some input voltage that is v in this v0 was output of first diagram so i have removed it then this supply is grounded remaining terminal naturally it should be connected to the ground so this is the diagram for inverting amplifier very simple trick i have simply changed the plus and minus polarity in the second diagram since the name is inverting input must be connected to the negative terminal of amp op amp now what i said earlier whatever voltage you are getting at the positive terminal stick to the notations denote this voltage by v1 remaining voltage that is voltage available at negative terminal of op amp denote it by v2 so i will write this notation as v2 now output is given by the equation v0 is equals to a v1 minus v2 this is the original equation what we derived earlier i have written it as it is look at this diagram v1 is 0 v2 is approximately same as v in keep in mind there is some voltage drop across r in but that voltage drop is very very negligible so i am neglecting it and i am writing v in is approximately equals to v2 v1 is connected to ground so in this equation i will write v0 is equals to a 0 minus in place of v2 i am writing v in 0 minus v in therefore equation of output will be minus a v in so in the diagram i can write this equation as minus a into v in what's the major difference between this output and earlier output this output was v0 is equals to a into v in there is a negative sign what it indicates since you are connecting input to the negative terminal of op amp you are getting output negative now 
this is called as an inverting amplifier so we can well say like this in case of inverting amplifier input and output actually input is v in this value is positive but we are connecting it to the negative terminal so value of input is v in is positive and you are getting output negative so technically it is said that output is out of phase compared to the input negative sign indicates value that is 180 degree phase shifted so output is out of phase compared to the input this is the case of inverting amplifier next configuration is differential amplifier again you don't have to mug up the new diagram i will tell you how to memorize it consider the first diagram this is the case for non-inverting amplifier because input is connected to positive terminal of op amp now this is a differential amplifier from the name itself you can recognize differential means it should take difference between two inputs that means i will have to apply input signal to both the terminal of op, op, op amp initially i have applied input to v1 terminal so just to make the thing simple i will say this input is vn1 this corresponding resistance is r in one similar to this i will apply one more input to v2 let us say it is v in two this terminal is grounded and one series resistance is required that is r in two very simple in differential amplifier, I have to apply input to both the terminals. So V in 1 and V in 2 are the two inputs which I have applied to positive and negative terminals. Now remaining calculations are pretty simple. We know the basic formula to calculate the output. It is A, A is the gain of op amp into V1 minus V2. Refer this diagram. As we discussed earlier, the drop across any R in resistance is negligible so we will not consider it throughout the op amp that means v1 is same as v in 1 so in this case equation of output is a in the bracket v in 1 minus v in 2 what this term indicates v in 1 is voltage at terminal 1 v in 2 is input voltage applied at terminal 2 it takes difference between these two input voltages it is multiplied with gain of op amp and output voltage V0 is generated, so it is differential amplifier. Why the word amplifier? op -amp itself is known as amplifier, operational amplifier. This is because every op -amp has some factor, that is A, which represents gain of op -amp. Input is getting multiplied, in this case also, this input difference is getting multiplied with the gain and corresponding output, rather amplified output is generated, so name is differential amplifier. Next is inverting amplifier with the feedback. Now this is somewhat different but not at all tough. What is a feedback? Feedback means some part of output is fed back to the input side. This point gives me the output signal which is same as this point. The part of output is connected back and given to the input side. It is known as feedback. This point is called feedback point. Now this feedback which i have taken it from this point and connected to this input it is connected to the negative terminal of op amp so it is inverting amplifier with feedback to make the thing simple i have denoted feedback resistance this is known as a feedback path feedback resistance by rf so this is the diagram for inverting amplifier with feedback. In case of inverting amplifier with feedback, I have shown one more extra thing that is known as load connection. Whatever output of op amp, you are giving it to some circuit, some load that is represented by load resistance RL. Now gain in this case, gain of inverting amplifier with feedback is given by minus RF upon r1 by minus sign because it is the case for inverting amplifier suppose i want to draw the diagram for non-inverting amp amplifier with a feedback how to do it very simple trick i will tell you in this case v in is applied to negative terminal so just interchange the positions of and v1 was grounded earlier in this case directly i will ground this v in terminal like this here there was v in earlier i have directly connected to ground and to the positive terminal i will connect supply v in 
but keep in mind in case of vein whenever you will connect vein there must be some register shown like this that is r in remaining all the things are as it is notations i have kept it as it is now this is known as non inverting amplifier with the feedback very simple trick i have told you for the simplicity you may not draw this resistance rn it is fine gain of non inverting op amp is given as 1 plus rf by r1 now these are the all possible combinations as far as the operational amplifier part is concerned and your syllabus is concerned now let us solve few numericals to get an idea how to apply this formula for the numericals the problem is an op amp is used in non inverting mode with r1 and rf these are the given values 1 kilo ohm and 12 kilo ohm vcc is plus minus 15 volt calculate output voltage for first part input voltage is 250 millivolt second part input voltage is 3 volt now i will tell you how to draw the simplified diagram uh this is non inverting mode and rf is given that means there is a feedback connection so you can draw a simplified diagram like this what this word non inverting indicates non inverting indicates the input is connected to positive terminal of battery so i will show positive terminal over here and i will write v in actually there must be some resistance in series with v in but uh, i am drawing the simplified diagram so it is fine now this is a feedback because rf is given so make the thing simple you can draw the feedback like this always in the feedback show this resistance by rf this is the output connection right over uh, right v0 over here and and remaining part r1 must be connected like this this should be grounded this is the negative terminal because it is non inverting so input is connected to positive terminal as i said this is the simplified diagram it is very much allowed in the exam now vcc is plus minus 15 volt so this is actually as per our convention plus vcc so i will write 15 volt this is minus vee which we had written earlier in this case i will directly write the value minus 15 volt the calculations are pretty simple you just have to memorize only two formula one for non inverting this is the case of non inverting in case of non inverting the gain is given by gain which is denoted by a is given by 1 plus rf upon r1 now both the values of rf and r1 are in kilometers kilo ohm sorry are in kilo ohms they are having same unit so not necessary to make the conversion of unit if the units are same for the both things keep it as it is so first i will calculate gain like 1 plus value of rf is 12 upon value of r1 is 1 so it is 13 gain is 13 now we have the simple formula v0 is equals to a that is gain into input now look at the first part what is asked in the first part v in is given as 250 milli volt 1 milli volt is 10 raised to minus 3 volts so from this formula i will write v0 is a that is 13 into v in which is 250 since it is in milli volt i need to convert it into volts by multiplying it by 10 raised to minus 3 do this calculation on the calculator so this value will be 3.25 volts since it is v0 voltage unit it holds second part same logic v0 is equals to what is given input voltage 3 volts so i will write it like this 3 oh sorry first part is value of a that is 13 into value of v i am referring this formula value of v is 3 volt into 3 is equals to it is 39 volt now very very important part this is not a valid answer in case of op amp supply voltages rather of plus vcc and minus ve are 15 so maximum value is 15 ideally in case of op amp output is 90% times the supply voltage that is 90% of the 15 volt so this is not a valid output so in the exam you need to write this since the answer is 39 volt which is greater than plus vcc but practically the output should be 90% of vcc that is 90% of 15 volt that is 0.9 into 15 volt 
So final answer, you need to write it as 13.5 volt. Next numerical, for inverting amplifier using op amp, RF is 100 kilo ohm, R1 is 10 kilo ohm, BCC is plus minus 10 volt, V in is 2 volt, that is input voltage. First part, calculate output voltage. Second part, is result of part 1 possible? Purposely, I have kept the last diagram as it is. Last was non-inverting amplifier. This is the problem of inverting amplifier. See, as I said earlier also, you don't have to memorize, mug up the diagrams. This was the earlier diagram. What changes you need to make? This is inverting amplifier. So, connect input to the inverting terminal like this. Remove this input and directly connect it to ground. This is the diagram for inverting amplifier. In this case, uh, VCC is plus minus 10 volt. So, I will make the changes. It is plus 10 volt. This is minus 10 volt. That's the only changes. Value of RF and R1 are given. Like the last case, since the, if the units of RF and R1 are same, that is kilo ohm and kilo ohm, don't, you don't have to make any conversion. Now, for the inverting amplifier, the formula for gain of op amp is A is equals to minus RF by R1. So, simply put the values. Value of RF is 100 kilo ohm. Value of R1 is 10 kilo ohm. So, gain of op amp will be 10. Now, make use of the basic formula. Output voltage is A, that is gain into input voltage. Given value of input is uh, 2 volt and one more thing. This is a minus sign. So, minus sign will continue throughout. So, this is minus 10. So, in this case, output will be minus 10 into input 2. So, output will be minus 20. This is the answer of first part. We have calculated output voltage. Answer of first part. In the second part, what is asked? Is result of part 1 possible? Rather practically possible. See, what we discussed earlier. Supply voltage is plus or minus 10 volt. At the output, at the max, you are getting 90% of this value. Theoretical output, you are getting the value as minus 20 volt. So, practically, it is not possible. In the exam, how to write it? Practically, the output of op amp is 90% of 10 volt, but calculated value is minus 20. So, practically, this output is not possible. So, that's it for today's session. Dear students, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't yet subscribed the channel, do subscribe the channel. And if you like the video, don't forget to smash the like button. Thank you very much.